today. We are talking about scheduling your updated COVID vaccine, flu shot, and more. So the 2024 to 2025 updated COVID it has been updated for this season. It's designed to protect against the newer COVID variant. And the reason we have a new one is because these variants evolve over time. There's a different variant that's prevalent than the one this time last year. So that's why we get the updated vaccines. It's really important to get these so that you are protected against the variants of the virus that are circulating right now. So the CDC recommends that everyone aged six months and older get the updated COVID vaccine. As with past versions of the vaccine, this one is especially life-saving for people who are age 65 or older, are pregnant, have underlying health conditions or have certain disabilities, but very important for everyone to get it in order to stay protected against the newest variants of COVID. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention also recommends that everyone ages six months and older get their yearly flu shot. For best protection during flu season, it's good to get your flu vaccine in September or October. If you can't get it until after that, it's better still to get it than not get it. But if you get in September or October, you're sort of beating the beginning of flu season. So you should be well protected as flu season starts up. So there is a specific flu vaccine that can be offered to people who are 65 or older. There's a high dose flu vaccine. These can be really helpful to older people. They provide that much more protection. But if they are not available near you, just get the regular flu shot. It gets what's there. It's recommended that people 65 plus just get a flu shot no matter what. If you can get the higher dose, that's great. But at very least, make sure that you get that flu shot. And also adults age 60 plus should talk to their healthcare provider about whether an RSV vaccine is right for them. Again, ask your healthcare provider if you should get that RSV vaccine if you're over the age of 60 most will recommend that you do. And it's something that you can actually get at the same time as your COVID vaccine and your flu shot. So you can get it all done at once. One thing I want to note here is that most insurances, including Medicare and Medicaid, are going to cover the COVID and flu vaccines at no cost to you. So at no out-of-pocket expenses to you. And most private insurance, definitely Medicare and Medicaid. But one thing that has changed is there used to be a program called the Bridge Access Program, which was a federal program that made COVID vaccines for uninsured people. That program ended in August. And so we're all sort of waiting to see what's going to take its place. We know about some potential options for free vaccines for uninsured people that should be happening soon, but I can't give you that information now because I don't have it. I will let you know as soon as I know about what those options are for uninsured people to get the vaccine for free. So you can get multiple shots at one time. That is a matter of preference. I do it because I would rather have one appointment and just get it all done. And then I know I'm covered. If you do have like the sore arm or whatever, you just do it once instead of multiple times. So I prefer that. I think it's an easier way of making sure that you cover all your bases there. And most of the locations that we're going to look at today, which are pharmacies, offer additional shots that you can get at the same time as the COVID shot and flu shot. So like I mentioned before, the RSV singles, if you are age 50 or over or immunocompromised, it's a two-dose vaccine, but you can get your first one at the same time as getting your flu and your COVID shot. And then pneumococcal pneumonia, that's for children under five people 65 plus and people who are immunocompromised. If you are insured, so double check that your insurance covers the additional vaccines that you want to get. These are just a handful of them. You'll see a couple more on here when we look at the system as well. So if there are other vaccines that you think that you qualify for, ask about them, make sure your insurance covers them or check with the pharmacy to see if there's any sort of free options there. But insurance is pretty likely to cover most preventative vaccines. So we're going to look at Vaccine Finder, which is the system that we've used in the past to find these appointments. So we're going to go to vaccinefinder.nyc.gov. Right now, they have just updated this within the past two days to have information about who has the current vaccine. And right now, it's mostly pharmacies. And actually, some of the locations that have it haven't even shown up in the system yet. So it's rolling. They're adding things as time goes by. So there will be more resources in there in the next, I'm sure, week or two. So you can also ask your doctor's office if they have access to any of these vaccines. Some different hospital systems supplies of vaccines specifically for their patients. So that you can ask about too. But Vaccine Finder is going to be a good bet because it's pharmacies, it's somewhere near you. And the ones that are in Vaccine Finder 
should definitely have the current vaccine. If you are insured or if you have Medicare or Medicaid, you can just call and make a primary care appointment. And at that appointment, you can get your COVID shot and flu shot and talk to them about other vaccines you might need. New York Health and Hospitals has in the past provided free flu shots to people who are uninsured. So I believe that they're still doing that. Not sure about the COVID shot at this point, but I will tell you as soon as I know. You can also talk to them if you are uninsured. They have a pretty robust system for getting people onto insurance of some kind. So that's always worth talking to them too. So let's look at Vaccine Finder. I have screenshots of this on my phone, just assuming that most people will be doing this on their phone. And you'll see at the top of the Vaccine Finder page that there is a little disclaimer that says updated COVID-19 vaccines will be available soon. They're actually available now. And locations that offer the new vaccines will be added to this site on a rolling basis. So there'll be more locations as time goes on. So what you want to do, first go to vaccinefinder.nyc.gov. You can also just Google Vaccine Finder and it'll be the first thing to pop up. And then type in your zip code or the zip code where you want to get your vaccination. You want to say whether you want a location that accepts insurance, has no cost for uninsured adults, or no cost for uninsured children. I'll tell you now that right now, if you go in here and say no cost for uninsured adults, you won't get any sites. So if you have insurance, if you have Medicare or Medicaid, just click on accept insurance and that'll show you the location in your zip code that do accept insurance. And then click done there. This is not really necessary, but you can filter your results by the vaccine brand. So Moderna, Pfizer. Also, whether your location provides walk-ups. Not many do right now. And also, if it's accessible to people with disabilities, these might be useful to you. Remember, none of the brands are actually recommended over another. So just get what the site that you're going to has. There's no doctor recommendation for Pfizer versus Moderna. It doesn't matter what you've gotten in the past. So that shouldn't be a big issue. So once you find a location that works for you, you want to click on schedule an appointment. We're going to use a Dwayne Reed location because it's a pretty standardized system and it's similar to the other ones as well. So what this will do is take you directly to Dwayne Reed Walgreens appointment scheduling system. So you need to enter your zip code, date of birth, and email address and phone number. One quick tip, and I learned this the hard way, is don't use the back button on your phone when you're scheduling an appointment. Sometimes it takes you all the way back to the beginning of the form. I'll show you there's a little back button that comes up here, like a little back thing that you can click on. Use that. Don't just use the back button on your phone because that can mess you up. And then it'll also ask you to check a box to say that you can receive text messages about your vaccine appointment. Then it'll ask you to select up to four vaccines. So if you want to get more than four vaccines, they'll probably ask you to make another appointment. But definitely flu, COVID, again, they'll give you the requirements for some of these different other vaccinations. So RSV, pneumonia, like we talked about, there's many meningitis, MPOX. Some of these are for real specific populations. You can check with your health provider to see if these are things that you should get. Right now, we're going to look really at flu and COVID-19. And then again, RSV if you are an older adult. Then it might ask you if you want to add other vaccines. So it asked me about the hepatitis B, the pneumonia vaccine. You can choose that based on what you want to do and either say add selected vaccines or no. This is actually asking about the brand and you can go ahead and say no preference. Again, if they have both, you know, whatever, it shouldn't make a difference to whether you get it or not. If you click on a date, it'll show you that location's available appointment. You can click here on the calendar to the upcoming date. In doing this over the past few days, most places have same day appointments available. So take advantage of that if you can. You do still have to make an appointment, but like this was the day that I made this presentation and it was in the afternoon. So this was like maybe a half an hour after I looked at it. So it's not like appointments have been filling up. Hopefully they will because we want everybody to get vaccinated, but it's good that they are actually having available time. So on the calendar icon, you can go in the future and then see what times are available on other days. Once you see an appointment time that works for you, click on that and click on next and it'll have the appointment day and time down here. Then it'll ask for some demographic information, first name, last name, gender, race, ethnicity, which is just collected by the CDC and then hit next. And then you are almost done as they tell you. Look at your details, make sure everything's right. Make sure you have a note of when your appointment is for yourself and make sure it has all the vaccines that you want to receive and then click book appointment and you are booked and you should get a email and or text message that says your appointment's confirmed, show up to your appointment, take your insurance information, and you're all set. 
we did it. We did look at the Dwayne Reed Walgreens one. It's a pretty standardized system. Other systems for other pharmacies are going to be quite similar to that. There's just little differences. One thing I wanted to note is with the CVS one, you can actually make an appointment for multiple people at the same time. Like you could make a two o'clock appointment for you, your partner, and your kids. Up to four people could come to one vaccine appointment. So if you have multiple people that want to get vaccinated at one time, that might be a good option for you. You can select which vaccines each person is getting. It might make it easier than trying to schedule four separate appointments. CVS also gives you the option to add a record of your vaccinations to the vaccine vaccine registry or opt out. I think the default is that it does get added to the vaccine registry, but in this one, I mean, you have the option of opting out and you have the very clear option of saying, yes, that's where I want it to go. So that was different than the Dwayne Reed version. And then Costco, which has been quite popular recently. Costco, if you go into the Vaccine Finder website, you will not see Costco in there yet. And I don't know why, because they are clearly scheduling appointments right now and they have the new vaccine. They'll probably show up in that system pretty soon. But if you want to schedule at Costco, you can go straight to their website to schedule an appointment. Important to know that you don't have to be a member of Costco to get your vaccines at Costco, which is good. The Costco vaccine scheduling site gives you the option to go ahead and enter your health insurance information and answer a medical questionnaire before you get there in order to save time. You can choose to do that or not. That's fine, but just know that that's an option, that that's something you can do up front in the Costco system that might help you save some time the day of your appointment if you're into that. Some quick things to remember. Both the updated COVID vaccine and the flu vaccine are recommended for everyone six months and older. The updated COVID vaccine protects you against the newest variants of COVID, and it's the best protection against severe COVID symptoms and long COVID. You can get other vaccines at the same time as your updated COVID vaccine and flu shot. The place you want to go to schedule your appointment is vaccinefinder.nyc.gov to take you to the location that works for you, unless you're looking at Costco. Again, that should be in the system pretty soon. And we will share information with you about upcoming opportunities for people without insurance to get their vaccinations at no cost. Also, I encourage you to go to Smart Brave webpage. It has a lot of these resources in there. It has our long COVID resources. It has all sorts of information that is helpful when thinking about getting vaccinated. So please do check that out. It is super important that everyone who wants the COVID vaccine gets it. The sooner the better. Everyone should get it. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Don't get long COVID. 